Well, hello once again. Here we are on the show, everybody. Thanks for stopping by and saying hello. Uh, we are into episode 145, five weeks away from episode 150. Hmm. Should we do something special for that? Yeah, I think we probably will. Um, a big weekend here, and uh, wow, what a huge success for powerboat races. Uh, Michelle Stokely was claiming to expect about 42,000 people this past weekend. 52,000 people in attendance. Uh, congratulations to Michelle Stokely and all the team for the powerboat races. An awesome job. It was very, very well done. And, of course, lots of music happening down on the Friday night. It was Big Sugar along with Wide Mouth Mason and then the Trues and I'm Mother Earth on the Saturday. I missed the Trues. Sorry, guys. I love you, but I just couldn't be there this time. But we've got some of the highlights from Friday night. Take a look. Put this all together. Put Sonia on the map. Let's hear it. All right, well, there's some highlights from the Power Boat races. Our friend Matt McNeil doing a great job of introducing the bands. And uh, Matt McNeil also was a commentator for the Power Boat races on the Sunday. And super job you did, Matt McNeil. I hope they keep you back there for next year. And, uh, yeah, congratulations once again to Michelle Stokely and all of her team. They worked very, very hard to put this on. Uh, in fact, they've already begun plans for next year, and they will be announcing uh, the dollars that they're donating to the different uh, nonprofits and charities uh, that they're donating to. So as soon as we have those numbers, we'll let you go. Once again, Michelle Stokely and to your team, congratulations on a super fabulous job. Well done at the Powerboat Races. We're definitely looking forward to next year. All right, well, now let's go out into the entertainment scene. This week on the entertainment scene, a little personal interview for me. My friend Gary Parker was celebrating his 60th birthday, and there was a surprise party put for him on in London, Ontario. And I was asked to go down and do some karaoke for Gary, and we decided we wanted to have him here on the show. Gary's got a, uh, been singing for many, many years. He's got a couple of CDs out, and uh, now we're going to show you who this fella is. Take a look at this, and I'll be back. Memories Rest between the pages of my mind. All right, well, this week on the show for the entertainment scene, we're very, very excited. I'm very excited. A personal friend of mine who I've known for many years. Uh, we have the privilege of being down here in London for his 60th birthday, my friend Gary Parker. How are you, Gary? Great, Dave. Nice to be here. Happy birthday. Thank you. It's been 60 years, and it's flown right by. You've got lots of friends here today, and uh, let's talk about your singing, though. I mean, you love to sing. Yes. And Elvis Presley, definitely in there. Number one. Yeah. yeah. I've always said uh, Gary is a cross between Elvis, Marty Robbins, and Roy Orbison. You yes. like? You agree with that? Yes. What is it? What, when did you first start getting singing? Where, where did that all come from for you? Well, I think I started singing when I was about four or five years of age, and my grandfather really enticed me to to sing, and my dad always sang. Right. So it was just something that I started to do, and then. As the years progressed, I started singing in church, and then it went on from there. And what is it about Elvis Presley? I, I mean, duh, but I mean, for you, what what is Elvis Presley? Doing well, for? I think with Elvis and artists like Tom Jones and Roy Orbison, those type of artists in the past had a truly magnificent talent. And when you turn the radio on and you heard them sing, you could visualize uh, right. somebody special. You yeah. could hear it. You could you could understand every word. 
uh, they just had a phenomenal talent, and they were singing words or songs that were just magnificent at the time. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're a big fan of the gospel too, right? I like southern gospel music. You've got uh, you've got a couple of CDs out, mm -hmm. right? Tell us what they're called. I have a memory CD, which is mostly ballads and love songs from the 50s and into the 60s, and then the southern gospel, uh, is swing down, sweet chariot. Yeah, and there's 15 songs on that, and again, southern gospel. Uh, some ballad type gospel, but then the southern gospel moves right along. Yeah. Right. Well, congratulations on your 60th birthday. Um, just before we go, you, you're doing some shows and stuff too uh, around Sarnia still? Well, yeah, I'm still working full time, but uh, I try and uh, you know, take my time with donating at singing. Uh, this week coming up, I'm at a retirement home here in Sarnia. Perfect. At Marshall Golan's. So those are one of the things I like to do. One of the things I've really noticed about you over the years when you sing, you, you, you're very trivial. You have a lot of uh, history on all the music. Do you do a lot of studying? On, like you could tell me what year this song came out and that, that, that seems to be really important to you when you're singing. Yes, I find when I'm singing at events that uh, I like to give a little introduction on the song, the year, and who wrote the song. And uh, people seem to uh, enjoy having a little background before you sing the song. Certainly. Gary yeah. Parker, thank you so much. Thanks, and happy Dave. birthday once pleasure. again. Thank Gary you. Parker joining us here on the show. And keep watching right now. We're going to have Gary sing for us. Take a look at this. Mine is a Once again, that's my friend Gary Parker singing for us here on the show. Thanks for uh, a great time. Gary, we had so much fun. Happy birthday to you once again, my friend. Many more years to come, hopefully. And uh, we're looking forward to the next time we get to see Gary perform. Now, he mentioned he's got a couple of CDs. Here's one called Memories. And here's another one, uh, Swing Down Sweet Chariot, that uh, Gary was talking about, of course. Uh, if you'd like to know where you can get a copy of these, just send me an email to the show at davidbrose.ws, and I'll tell you how to get a hold of Gary. Happy birthday once again, Gary, and looking forward to seeing you next time, my friend. All right, now we're going to go into the community, and this week in the community, it's community and live entertainment. We're going down to Imperial Theatre here in Sarnia once again, and uh, they've already had their first week, but Next to Normal wants you to come down and see why you're just next to normal. It's an emotional play, uh, but uh, here to talk to us all about it, John LeVere from uh, Diversion Entertainment. Uh, looking forward, we're going to be down there on the Thursday for this, but right now let's go down to the Imperial Theatre with John LeVere and talk about Next to Normal.
This week on the show, out in the community, adding some entertainment, and we're back once again at the Imperial Theatre. Our local theatre is very, very talented. And coming up this week, the second week for the performance, uh, Diversion Entertainment presenting Next to Normal. And uh, John Lever, you are here to talk to us about this. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Uh, Diversion Entertainment, that's your company. Yep. Um, but you're, you're putting on this Next to Normal and something a little different for the theatre world. Talk about the best you can. It's hard one to describe. Describe, it is. It? it is. It's a. It's a great show. It's actually uh, the show that got me back into musical theater. I saw it on the Tony Awards. It won uh, best musical at that year's Tonys. It won a Pulitzer Prize, which was wow. Only eight <laughs> musicals have ever done that. Um, and uh, it, it, as soon as I saw it, I thought, whoa! Like musical theater can be this. And it, it, it was, it's hard to describe. It's about a family. Uh, they're dealing with you know mental disorder. Uh, the wife Diana has bipolar disorder. Um, well, they're dealing with with grief and loss and a bunch of struggles. Um, and it's all about them kind of like fighting to keep it together and, and keep those bonds. And it, it sounds like a heavy piece, and, and it is. Like it's, yeah. it's an emotional piece, but at the same time, there's a lot of laughs. We're like we're, we're blown away by how much the audience has been laughing at the show, right. um, and just hopeful. And and it's uh, people have been crying, but they said like at the end, uh, you know, I, I thought I'd be emotionally devastated, but like I was hopeful and it was joyous, and I was just so happy that I saw it. And right. and uh, that's the experience I get from the show and too. And that's really what you're talking about is really something that not just our community, all mm -hmm. communities really deal with and, oh absolutely yeah. and what is normal because I, I know i'm not normal I'm far from <laughs> who <it>. is <laughs> so it's it's sort of but being next to normal is mm -hmm. is acceptable yeah right? and that's kind of the the message that at the end of the play that you're left right like it's it's not about you know trying to f make your life normal it's you know something next to normal is enough right and uh, it is like we, we're all going to deal with struggles and, and and trials and tribulations in our lives i know in our community like i'm a, I'm a teacher at, at northern and and again, like we've had, you know, deaths and, 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 and suicides yeah. and tragedy over the last few years. So about all the other schools and, 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 yeah. and the community as a whole. And, and a lot of times that's a hard subject matter to, to think about, to, to, to address. And a show like this deals with those issues. Kind of opens it up. Right? And it is. Like theater is a place where you can kind of have that connection to it and almost like a catharsis of of you know like you're feeling it and you're maybe inciting some healing because of it and yeah. I think I think it's great and I think that's really important it's it's nice to know as a you know as a parent and, and family you know it, it's nice to know you're not the only one mm -hmm. sometimes oh, too oh, you, you think it's oh it's just me but and this sort of touches on all that. I've, people I've talked to, you've already had your first week, mm -hmm. are, are really raving about it. Uh, we've been blown away by their and the you, response. And your, your tickets, like, wow, you're like giving this show away practically. Yeah, like we, we, we want people to see it. It's it's a show, we know it's a hard sell. It's the summer, people want the light fair. And like last summer we had great, you know, great audiences. We had the wedding singer, it was fun, yeah. it was dancey. And, and we're trying something new this this year. We, we it's a it's it's a, it's a heavier show, but it's still a great show. It's a, it's a, the reviews have been fantastic. Everyone's loved it. We have a lot of people coming back for a second and a third time. Right. And and but we're still not seeing you know the houses that we want. We want to we want everyone in the community to see it if they could. Right. So so uh, Imperial Theater has been great for it, and we've been uh, we've been offering two for ones. And from now for these last two runs that we extended the run the 14th and right. 15th, we decided to offer two for one. So basically, it's a ten dollar ticket, which. For people have said this is better, you know, yeah. than some shows they've seen in Toronto, and, and I'm blown away by that. Yeah, we are speechless by this by the support and the reviews we've been getting. It's it's been great. Well, let's see if we can get some more people down here. Uh, what are the dates this week? Yeah, it's Thursday the 14th and Friday the 15th at 7:30. Uh, tickets are available on the Imperial Box Office 344 Show, or you can buy them online. Right. Um, honestly, if uh, if you haven't already seen it on Facebook, it's been blowing up all over the place, yeah. purple everywhere. So yeah, and we're gonna give away some tickets here in the show right? oh that'd be so great yeah, we'll do sure. that and uh thanks again john for being here on the show and looking forward to uh seeing it i haven't seen it yet but uh looking forward to getting down here once again this thursday and friday for next to normal and uh once again tickets down here at the imperial theater and uh, let's go back to the studio and we'll talk more about this great event All right, John, thanks so much for uh, having us down at the Imperial Theatre. We were on the stage there, uh, a beautiful set, and we're really excited. Jennifer and I will be uh, going down to see the play on Thursday night. If you'd like to see the play, how'd you like to win some tickets? Here's what you got to do. Go to my Facebook fan page and just make a comment that's saying, I am not normal. That's all you got to do, and I'll take all those names, put them in a hat, and somebody come along with us on Thursday night, and we'll give away a pair of tickets for the Friday night as well. So good luck, everybody. And uh, John, thanks again. We're looking forward to being down there this Thursday night at the Imperial Theatre for Next to Normal. 
All right, well now this fella helps us out every week. He's very, very intelligent and he's got lots to share, tips and tricks for phones and computers. And this week, Mark Russell is going to talk to us about Facebook Messenger. Now, while you might think you know everything about that, you're really gonna wanna pay close attention. You're gonna learn a few things you probably didn't know about Facebook Messenger. Right now, let's go to apps with Mark Russell. Thanks, Dave. The Messenger feature on your Facebook app has been disabled, or it will be shortly. What can you do to replace it? This week, we look at the controversial Facebook Messenger on Apps with Mark Russell. For the past few months, Facebook has been warning mobile app users that the messaging feature will soon be gone, suggesting they instead install the standalone Facebook Messenger app. Installing the Messenger app requires giving it permissions to do a few things the old Facebook app didn't, like access to your contacts, and the ability to record your calls, pictures, and videos without further informing you. Starting this month, Facebook is rolling out an update that disables Messenger on the main Facebook app, leaving you with few options, but not zero. One option is to use your mobile browser to access the Facebook website. The mobile browser looks a lot like the app, but gives you all the features of the desktop version. You may even want to uninstall the Facebook app completely and save yourself some data charges. The other option is to embrace it. Could Facebook use your phone to take pictures and videos in the middle of the night without your permission? Yes. Will they? Probably not. The Facebook Messenger app lets you make calls and video chats, in addition to the text-like messaging, even while using other apps. Facebook says it only wants access to your contacts so it can better connect you with your friends and family. The real answer is probably somewhere between that and the paranoia. Facebook wants to better target ads towards you. Using your personal data, they can better tailor ads towards you and guarantee more clicks. That's how Facebook makes money. Facebook Messenger is available for free on Android, iOS, Blackberry, and Windows Phone. This has been Apps with Mark Russell. Thanks once again, Mark. What a smart guy Mark is. He's very, very smart. And if you'd like him to talk about something here on the show for you, you can send him an email to info at markrussellsarnia.com. Uh, now, check out his website, markrussellsarnia.com as well. Mark has decided to run for city council here in Sarnia. And uh, to find out what he's all about, you can go to that website and check him out. Thanks again, Mark. And we're looking forward to seeing what you got for us next week, my friend. All right, well, lots of local stuff happening, lots of local events, and now we want to show that to you. So take a look, and we'll be right back. Here's your local events for this week. There you go, your local events calendar for this. There's always so much going on. Everybody's uh, got lots of things going on here. We're a busy community. It's great to see and lots of, uh, you know, charity events and lots of entertainment. So, uh, you know, uh, somebody said to me again the other day, I said this a few weeks ago, and somebody else came up to me and said, oh, there's nothing to do in Sarnia. Are you kidding me right now? <clears throat> if you know somebody like that, uh, make sure you tell them about the show and uh, all the different websites uh, that you can go to to find out what's happening here in Sarnia, okay? Uh, nothing to do, whatever. Okay, well, speaking of local, just before we wrap up, Indie Fest, Battle of the Bands finale coming up Saturday, August 23rd, down at Rustic, which, of course, is formerly the Stubborn Mule. The Youth Talent Showcase will take place at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and run till about 5, and then the Battle of the Bands will start at 6.30. Tickets are $5.00 in advance available downtown at Cheeky Monkey from our friends Marianne and Roland. Thank you guys for helping out with that. And uh, the battle begins at 6.30. Five bands and here's who they are. Time is a hymn from Chatham, Ontario.
Ontario, Opus Rex from London, Ontario. Then we've got Lazy Melt from Sarnia, Powerhouse from Sarnia, and then we pulled a wild card. We threw the names into a hat, and also from Sarnia, Gypsy Flats. They're all looking to gain uh, $1,000 cash, and we're going to have a whole lot of fun. The uh, DNA uh, Studios is going to be there as well. They'll be giving away the uh, Producer's Choice Award, uh, giving away some recording studio time, and uh, Natalie is going to be there as well taking uh, some pictures and offering some video services so there's lots of things going to be going on there uh, and we're also creating uh, some awareness for the uh, Kids Help Phone chapter here in Sarnia. You can find out about that at kidshelpphone.ca and of course all the events that are happening at IndieFest Battle of the Bands can be found at IndieFest.ca as well. Uh, that's all the time I got for you this week. You have a great week and an even better weekend and I'll see you next time right here on the show. Bye bye for now. <laughs>